arrived here broken. I had experienced something that my philosophy, my warriorship, my seeking, my knowing, my retreats, my meditation couldn't do. I was stopped in my tracks. I was exploded by some a pain I could not get around. That was a great blessing. But what was I going to do with it? So I came here to Tim, to this little retreat house, and we decided to do... Two millions we're talking about here. Came here, decided to do an intensive two days with the, the strong Shiva breath, or the rebirth, rebirthing breath. And prostrations, and prayer, and questioning. A questioning that's like... It's, it, it was like the hound after the hare. Every question had to be answered truthfully. Every question had to be answered instantaneously. And n there were no such thing as I don't know. All is known. I didn't believe that on the first day. I thought it was a trick. Later I discovered all is known. We do know everything. And all the answers lie within us. Just like I've always heard and always been said. But I had to be badgered into that. I had to be corralled into that. And by someone that was faster and sharper and more confident and more true to himself and who had done his work and who had sat still long enough who hadn't been on too many wild adventures that were meaningless and rambling and that focus was brought to bear on me together with my own broken heart together with the Shiva breath together with the attention and done with heart done with care it took two days to crack me wide open I will never be the same again and it was tough, but exactly the kind of tough you want. Clear and sharp and to the point. Wise. On it. Inescapable. Corralling the, the, the slippery ego. Corralling the slippery mind. Catching and tripping up the courtroom of God. Is this true? Is this reality? Is this the real thing? Or are you wasting the gift of life? And are you wasting other people's lives in your enormous, complex regime? There's no more regime now. This is two days later. It has all been let go of happily, with delight. I'm very grateful. So I made this little video. <laughs> Uh, there's a few more comments about working here with, with Tim on a, a, a lockdown two-day intensive. Uh, a a no-escape situation where um, the rebirthing breath, uh, that technique is used, along with meditation, along with a, quite a strict regime, along with some very deep, inescapable, fast, demanding questions about what you're doing with your life. Or in my case, what I was doing with my life. In particular, the kind of lies I might be telling myself, which of course I never did, did I? And I wouldn't have owned up to it either if I hadn't come here a little bit broken hearted. So the best time to show up is when you're in trouble and you're willing to face up to why you're in trouble and you're willing to move through that trouble and to make that trouble into the compost in which some new flowers can grow. And I'm so thankful and so amazed by the amount of progress I've made in two days. I hadn't given myself a break for a long time, perhaps you haven't either, but I'm very glad that I did. And I've been looking for someone to do it, someone that had some maturity, some wisdom, and someone who had sat still long enough, lived long enough, with that stillness, with that clarity, to not get embroiled in any of my very clever games, and I had plenty of them. Someone who could cut it straight away, split second timing, bang, no, let's move on, that's not true, what's the real thing, what's the real truth, so forth. Let's look at your life. Let's look at what you're doing. Let's look at your relationships. And we're not going to spend too long about it either. We're going to go straight to the truth. And then we're going to take that to the Shiva breath. And we're going to do some meditation to keep the spaciousness open. I'm calling it the Shiva breath, but the rebirthing it's called. The rebirthing that I experienced here after those sort of questioning, after the meditation, after living our regime, and after staying tight and focused, was massive should we say, just two afternoons 
of going from complete and utter pain, which admittedly I was willing to go into, as I had, I had that opportunity of knowing that everything's crashing, it's not working what you're doing, and I, luckily I, had, I arrived in a state of failure. If, if you can manage to get yourself in a state of absolute failure, that's a great blessing, so that's the time to come. Or, you know, do something like this. Um, I'm saying this because I recommend him. Uh, breathing into those failures, directly into them. I've not done this before, this kind of breathing thing. I'm very behind it. Breathing into them, really going into the body of pain and staying there long enough until it changes around. For me, on both occasions, all of the incredible pain I was going through all of my horrible little triggers, all of my struggle that I could not escape from, I couldn't lighten the load, all of it went deeper in and all of it transformed to blissful freedom. I recommend this technique for anyone who's in trouble and wants to really, really go for it. It doesn't want to sidestep, doesn't want to patch over, but has either the courage or else is simply trapped in a situation that feels like there's no escape, go in there deeply. That breath brought me to the body of bliss and to complete and total understanding of what freedom is. Freedom from agendas, freedom from lies, freedom from the little tricks we have ourselves, freedom from all the stuff that mum and dad might have done to us and the little stories we've been running for a long time. And I've been to the therapy, I've done the rituals, I've been on the enlightenment intensives, in fact I run them. I've tasted freedom in many different forms. This was enormously helpful, enormously useful. It might just have been my timing, it might be your timing too sometime. So uh, these are, uh, this is an attempt to say a few, um, uh, a few straightforward words about um, putting a few of these techniques together and putting myself into the hands of someone who really knows how to use time and to move from crisis into creative breakthrough without a lot of messing around in a way that had a lot of beauty and in a way that can establish a, a, a way forward into the magnificence of life. It's there to be lived, not suffered through, or dragged through, or worried about. So, if you think that you'd like to spend a couple of days really putting some focus and attention into clearing away the constraints of the past so that you can live into a happy future of your choosing and you think it might be possible, then contact me and we can design a special time just for you. Now is the time to do it, definitely.